So Legends of Arceus came out recently, and I'd like to give my thoughts on the game. Now going into this review about the game, I haven't played a mainline Pokemon game since Diamond and Pearl, and I've only played the first generation in that one. I've never cared about the mainline games, and I actually preferred Mystery Dungeon over them. So basically what I'm getting at is that I don't really play Pokemon games, and the last time I've played one was Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, which was I don't know how long. Now onto Legends of Arceus. This has been a pleasant surprise of a game. I know, originally all of us, when we heard what it was coming out to, we would have thought the end of 2022, like the holidays, November and December, but when it was revealed that it would come out late January, most of all of us were like choking. I know going in, the biggest fear was the graphics department and the world being very bland. I had my doubts before the game came out, and I went in with zero expectations, but honestly, this was an extremely pleasant surprise. I'm currently at the part of the game after finding the stolen relic in the Crimson Mirrorlands. The graphics and texture and all of those little bugs, it really doesn't take away from the game's overall experience. Sure, the graphics are nothing compared to those of the open world RPGs on the Switch like Breath of the Wild, or Mario Odyssey, or what looks like the new Kirby game coming out. I'd agree that yeah, as of one of Nintendo's top 3 IPs, you expect a lot more of them. But this is definitely an overall solid game. My favorite thing about the game is that you aren't forced to have to fight Pokemon. The funny part is that grass is actually your friend in this game. Before, you'd be in the grass and then every 10 seconds you'd have to fight a Pokemon and get a cutscene and then maybe run. It can get very annoying and especially when you're so much stronger and there's no need to fight. You just don't get anything out of it. Now, you hide in grass so you don't get detected and then surprise them with a catch or fight. Grass is now your friend, not foe. I love that you can just breeze by and never have to fight a single Pokemon. You only fight or catch a Pokemon that you want to gauge with. There are three types of Pokemon interactions in the game when you get near them. There are Pokemon, when they spot you, they try to run away. Eevee was this way and was a rare Pokemon, so two ran away from me and I got pissed. This even happened with Togepi. I was already running away from a few Pokemon, and out of nowhere I saw Togepi and spotted me and then started running. Yeah, that one hurt. There are Pokemon that are friendly, when they spot you, they want to play with you. Bidoof was this way, and, when, and you also get some interesting interactions out of some of them. Lastly, there are ones when they spot you, they want all that smoke. Paris has been made into a living, breathing meme. Now even though they want to fight you, it doesn't make you have to have a Pokemon battle. You can dodge them, run away, or make your Pokemon fight them. Sometimes it's fun to purposely dodge their attacks in the overworld. I just love now that we have more options on how to interact with the Pokemon in this world. And I love that you don't have to grind as hard either. You used to have to make a Pokemon have to fight in order to level up. Now Pokemon can level up through hitting trees, breaking gravel, catching Pokemon without even battling, and then the traditional way of, you know, battling from like right in the beginning of the games. But even the Pokemon that doesn't fight, they all level up too. So now it's so much easier to level them all up. It takes a lot less time and a lot less of a grind that's not really fun. And I also feel battles now have more options with the agile or power style of moves, so it just gives the games and combat a little more depth, what I should love. I love having more options in battling with RPGs. The fights are even cooler now that you can move around during them, and the animations and stuff look, they look pretty good to me. I just feel more immersed with the world of the game, and it feels a lot more engaging. I love that you can throw out all six of your Pokemon and look at them. I'm only on the second map, and I've been doing everything but the main quests. I probably have put 15 hours into the game already. The side quests are pretty fun too, and add a lot more character to the game, as well as the Pokemon that you interact with. And I know some of you stress since you want to give people shinies. My village sadly doesn't have that type of drip, but I do have some alphas, so second best thing. Except my Parasect. I gave a person that for a side quest. I only have two shinies, one of which was, you know, a side quest with a Ponyata, you kinda had to get them, and then I just found a Paris randomly then evolved into a Parasect. I will say, it's very surprising to see no signs of Charizard. I'm not happy about that, but I'm also not mad about it either. No Pokemon game should be decided by a few Pokemon not making the cut or making it, you know? So coming towards the end of the video, I loved seeing the Pokemon in 3D form. I love all the ways to interact with Pokemon. Pokemon leveling up easier and all of them leveling up together. And having the ability to never fight a Pokemon if you don't want to. I'm not a big Shiny Hunter fan, but I hear that it's even much easier to do now, which is great for you guys who love Shiny Hunting. I think most people would sum up the game by saying it's a step in the right direction. It's not perfect, but it certainly has a blueprint for a sequel that can expand on the ideas and core gameplay of Legends Arceus. 
I'd recommend buying it if you have never played Pokemon or you're a Pokemon veteran. And for the love of Arceus, just please take as much time as needed to make the sequel. So all in all, a great game that could be a lot better with the sequel, and I would definitely buy this one for sure. Definitely worth the $60.